like i've said before on this very platform this very channel that's being a care a care assistant here in the uk is more than just going to change nappies uh, pampas whatever just going there to clean somebody to make them a cup of coffee or to give them their medication from blister packs or to take them out for a walk it is way more than that especially when you are working as a lone um worker what i mean as a lone worker probably you are doing a one-to-one -one. you are the only one looking after a particular service user you have a lot of responsibility in your ends when you work as a lone worker one of our carer has been sacked because of this i have a video clip i'll be attaching to this in a minute but before then i just want to explain one or two things in the meantime guys if you are meeting me for the first time you are highly welcome you are at the right corner what i do on this platform i talk about life realities of africans nigerians to be precise on this very platform things that has to do with them here in the uk and also in the diaspora at large my name is joan so if you are interested in content like this before you leave this video please subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell icon should there be future videos you will be notified by youtube a very big thank you to my returning subscribers yes guys like i was saying that as a loan worker you have a lot of responsibilities we've seen um, a situation whereby you as a loan worker you are taking a service user at for a walk or probably they are going for lunch or they are going for you know to day center some of our care assistants we see that as an opportunity for us to start pressing our phone calling our friends we are not paying you know much attention to the service user that we are taking at we are taking around forgetting that those people most of, most of them don't have capacity if they do have capacity nobody will want you to work them or take them out before i you know say what i want to say concerning this particular um video i want you guys to see this clip from this lady who brought the news to tiktok and then i'll be back with the rest of my thoughts as you are watching the video let me know what you think on the comment section below good morning afternoon evening depending on the time you come across my video okay so this video is explaining about the importance of a one-to-one -one. um you know she left her one-to-one -one and the one-to-one -one escaped left the care home went to the local um convenience store like the corner shop and um you know assaulted some people brought back by the police my name is raquel morenica i'm a mental health specialist spent a few years in this country working in the healthcare sector and i do talk about things that could cause you mental health problems things that could get you into trouble at work and i also share with you signs of you know signs to watch out for your children your friends children for autism and adhd okay so there's auntie yeah um she was on a one-to-one -one, but because her colleague had finished their early shift and was going home she just quickly thought oh let me quickly meet up with this my colleague in the staff room show her what i'm selling and um her patient that's how the patient escaped the home nobody is saying that you should not sell things if you want to sell things if you want your colleagues to be your customer if you want to show your colleagues what you do it's okay i always say there's a time and place if you can take your colleague's telephone number it's fine then you can share on whatsapp with them do not leave your one-to-one -one. do not leave your one-to-one -one. your patient is a one-to-one -one for a reason patients are very very smart you left your patient, you went to the staff office, you were showing the person off your phone, maybe you're selling clothes, whatever it was. Show, show, show. By the time she got back to the lounge, the patient had left. She filled, of course, raised the alarm, filled her incident report. Her own recount of what happened is does not tally with what other people were saying. Of course, she forgot to put that she left her one-to-one -one to go and advertise to somebody in the staff office why are we putting ourselves at risk now she's calling me being invited she's calling me oh auntie please help me what will i say how can you support me what will i say what you've done is totally wrong and is unacceptable the reason why our patients are on a one-to-one -one is because they are not safe to themselves they are at risk to themselves and to other people 
I have worked in a care home before years ago where per se live in one to one. This one now in both now in make I think said that girl self her story in no go prison. In living one to one, in one to one come out for the house, go jump bridge. Now in the one to one by yes, the patient by the story, day papers that time, yes. But the care the manager of the care home was very nice and mm, maybe because now Ibo to Ibo. Now so they shall help this girl, but she had to leave that work. Of course she she, she had to she was sacked, you know. So now they look at now we sabi the thing we bring us come here. If now cloth you want to sell, you want to do your market, stay for house. But if you're in care work and you are on a one-to-one, -one, please take your one-to-one -one serious because one-to-one -one, no be joke, no be more more in a serious issue. It is for you to protect the patient from themselves, from harming themselves, and from harming other people as well. Take care of yourself. And like I said, I will start to do some training, some do's and don'ts of um, working in the healthcare sector, you know, work ethics, the things we should be doing, the things we shouldn't do. I'm going to start training. If you're interested, you can drop in the comment section to say interested, please. So that when I set up my WhatsApp group, I will contact you and add you to it. Take Welcome care. Welcome back, guys. So we've seen the video from this uh, particular lady where she said that a service user was left with a carer, a care assistant who is working on a one-to-one -one shift. The service user was left under a care to look after, 100% under a care. But what she decided to do, I know sometimes some of us will do these things, we see it as it doesn't really matter because we've done it before and then, you know, we've, got away with, we've gotten away with it, but it's not all the time that you as um, a care assistant will be lucky. So she left the care, the service user and she said she wants to meet up with a colleague of ours who has finished earlier um, that very day. She wanted to sell the, some stuff that she is selling for her, forgetting that the person that she was working on does not have full capacity. So while she was discussing her business, to start with, why will you carry your business to your working place? It is very, very wrong. Very, very wrong. So as she was having discussion, a business discussion with a colleague who has finished for the day and she was about to go home, the service user escaped from a room and went into the local shops in the area and then she attacked someone. So they have to call the police. The police came in and then they traced the service user to um, where she escaped from. And this healthcare, this care assistant, was the one who was supposed to look after this service user. So they took the case out, manager, supervisor, police, field this, fire report, and all that. You guys know how those things work. So they have to sack her. And not only that, I know that at DBS at the moment, I don't know if it's going to affect her. So it will be very, very bad when your DBS has been affected as a carer and probably you came into the country with the visa sponsorship for care assistant job. Who is going to employ you as a carer? Nobody. So what other job will you be able to do to get sponsorship? So we have to be very, very careful, extremely careful when it comes to this job that most of us are doing in the country. Guys, be careful. Share this video. I'll see you in my next updates. Bye.